Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're going to hike a mountain today. Mm hmm It's 5 a.m., 31 degrees. Perfect for a hike. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, we crawled out of bed. We got our diesel heater running, so... I mean, it's really not that bad in it's here. It's not that bad in here. <laughs> it's just chilly. I just want to conserve my energy for the long day ahead. Um, so, and someone's going to have to go outside to get our internet down from the roof. So, bundling up a little bit. Going to brave the elements to drive over to the trailhead. And then maybe we'll have breakfast there until the sun's up. Maybe I'll stay in bed. I don't know if you could see on that last clip, but it's starting to get light out and there's frost on the ground and it is snowing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sun isn't quite up yet, so hopefully it'll start to get warmer soon. We are parked like a mile down the road, right? The people will persevere. They say <laughs> the parking lot fills up by 6 a.m. and it seems that is the case because we are well down the line of cars on the road coming back. So adding another mile each direction to our hike, but... But it's a good time because it means people are out here doing it. Yeah. And that gives me hope. Time for breakfast. Always good to get a poop out before a long hike. To pee anywhere on the trail, but it's a little less convenient. You can't pee anywhere if you're me. One of my favorite things about bus life so far is having our house with us at the trailhead. All these losers out here with their cars can't sit and have a warm breakfast before their hike, but we can. I'm just kidding, they're not losers. That was us once. And we found a better way. <laughs> we've actually said it but today we're hiking Mount Marcy it is the highest peak in New York right yeah in New York State it's not in New York so that's pretty cool it's about a 16 mile trail and it should be an elevation gain of around 4,000 feet about that and the conditions are muddy and icy <laughs> so it's gonna be fun we'll see how it is on a clear day you should be able to see to Mount something in Montreal and to the Green Mountains in Vermont so we might Some be seeing pretty Canada. good views Hopefully. Hopefully. It looks like the clouds are clearing up and the sun's coming out and we have high hopes. Woo. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Slippery. Watch your step. Okay, first layer's coming off. We pulled off on the side of the trail so we don't slow anyone down. But we'll catch them. We always do. We are going to try to keep the jackets handy because we've been told it's minus 15 degrees at the top of Marcy, so taking them off for the climb up, but before we get there, they'll be going back on for sure. It seems that we took a ski trail by accident, but it meets back up with the main trail. It's possible that it was a shortcut, but it was not a morale boost, that's for sure. So this is Indian Falls Overlook. It's just a little, it's like not far off the trail yeah, to Marcy. Yeah, a couple steps so off the trail. Pulled over to get a view in and we'll be back at it on it's the right beautiful. path. Definitely snowier up here. It's about 11 o'clock and we are on our approach. It's gotten a little steeper, a little slicker, and we're feeling a bit snacky, so I've got my Swedish fish pocket here. They're a little frozen, so... Keep them close to your heart. Keep them close to your heart. Tuck one into each cheek, and suck them down until they're soft. <laughs> so we've just been scrambling up this icy sheet of bedrock, basically, but we just passed a couple coming down, and they said once you get out of the trees, the ice is all melted and it's, the summit is actually really nice. So 
Excited to get out of the trees. It's not icy at least. It might be chilly, but. Oh yeah, it's gonna be chilly, but not icy. We've made it out of the trees. We're now in the alpine zone and we can see the peak. It's right up there and we've got a pretty great view. A little bit of fall foliage in the distance. I don't know if you guys can see it too well on there, but we're a little too high for it. Everything out this way is clouds and pine trees and spruce trees and <laughs> fir trees and you know, that sort of thing. Wow, I literally have the highest head in New York. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it to the peak. The views are incredible, but the clouds are rolling in quick. Coming in and out, yeah. but the views have been great. It's a little chilly and we're about to head down. It's about one o'clock. So we left at what, 6.30, 7? Yeah, it took us five hours to get here. About five hours to get here. Hopefully we can cut a little of that, that off going down, but it is icy, so nothing too crazy. <laughs> Let's hit it. Making our way down the slippery mountain. <laughs> Gonna be a lot of butt sliding, but Emily's a pro. Good thing my leggings are fleece lined. Whoa. <laughs> He's up. We are sixteen and a half ish miles into our hike. We're just walking back to the bus from the lodge here, which is about a mile on the road. And we're just, you know, hobbling along. Tired. Legs are pretty tired. We're tired. Some good fatigue after a long day of hiking. <sighs> kind of reminds me of the day we came up with Adventure Trudge. Yeah. Which, if you don't know that story, long story short, we spent a long day in the desert and we're running low on water by the end of it and we're a little delirious and morale was low <laughs> morale was low and but so we, we were just trudging. trudging along and it was an adventure and it was an adventure so adventure trudge 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 and that's how i feel today happy adventure trudge day <laughs> let me in Oh. 17 miles exactly. I can't see it. Mm -hmm. Nice. So unfortunately our batteries, our solar batteries were pretty low this morning just because it rained all day yesterday and now we were parked under a tunnel of trees all day today so it's possible that our batteries didn't charge at all. So now we need to figure out how long we're gonna have power for. 41 hours. Oh they did charge. They're at 33%. Oh, they didn't charge. <laughs> 41 hours if we're not here. Yeah. Okay, they charged like 10%. Not great. We might try to find a campsite so we can plug in. Yeah, it's supposed to rain tomorrow too. These are all the people we beat to parking. Quite the lineup. This is why we woke up at 5. So we found a KOA close to Lake Placid. Obviously this is not ideal and we want to boondock most of the time, but in situations like this, it works perfectly. And we're plugged in and we're charging our batteries, so we're happy. Also, we got a big pizza. Time to chill. Well, we crushed the pizza. Now we just need to shower before we can cozy up and shut ourselves in for the night. Not much cell phone signal, but we'll either watch some movies we have downloaded or read some books or just go to bed at 7 p.m. You know, anything could happen. We've taken showers. Camp of America has unlimited hot water. Hell yeah. Which currently our shower has 
no hot water. <laughs> <laughs> so we haven't showered in a week. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was very nice to have that after the hike, get all cleaned up and we just plugged in. We have power. We're and clean. we have hot chocolate. We have hot chocolate. And, and so I'm falling asleep. So we are going to go to bed and we'll see you next week. Bye. Love you. Love you. Thank you.